Hi, I'm Lucy from Sew Essential and I'm here today to share what I've been sewing in 2022. So I've picked out my five favourite makes from the year and I'll actually show you those. I'll put them on and show you and talk to you a bit about those. But also I thought it was just nice to just talk about generally a bit of an overview of the year. I know I'm a little bit premature with this. We haven't quite reached the end of 2022 yet. Um, but, you know, it was just a good time for me to take stock. I think I'll probably squeeze another one or two makes out before the year's over um, but this was a good time for me really to have a look back and think about what I've been making so it's always quite a surprise when I get to the end of the year and I do this I'm always quite surprised at actually how much I've produced um, and this year was no different so I made 14 garments nine of those were dresses I've made a pair of shorts, a tailored jacket and three tops um, and that was quite surprising. I think when I look back at previous years I was always saying I want to make more dresses, I want to make more dresses and the numbers gradually were creeping up but they were, it was never the thing that I made the most of and then this year it was far and away the thing that I made the most of and I think you know I do wear dresses a lot more than I used to. I think I've sort of mastered the art of the casual day dress finally it's taken me a long time um, but I've got to the point where I've, I know what sort of dresses to make um, that I'll feel comfortable wearing during the day and then get the maximum wear out of them because I don't have a massively busy social life in the evenings um, I've got two children um, I help my family to run the business and you know time is of the essence I don't have a lot of spare time um, so yeah, I'd like to focus on making things that I know I'm going to wear and I've definitely done that this year and when I look back at it I've got it all hanging up here in front of me and um, when I look back at it I think yeah lots of those items are on a strong repeat in my wardrobe so that always gives me a real sense of satisfaction um, probably haven't made anything massively challenging this year the only thing that was really quite challenging was the tailored jacket because I'd never done any tailoring before but having said that actually um you know once um i was shown the different techniques by my mother-in-law she taught me through how to insert a sleeve header for example and i did a tutorial about that on the channel so i'll pop a link to that below for you um but i realized actually it isn't that difficult as long as you've got the right tools and you know the how to do the technique um it's not that difficult and it's a lot of fun it really stretches those sewing skills and is a little bit more interesting than your average Average sort of so. Um, I also did a bound buttonhole on that jacket and also covered some shoulder pads and I did tutorials on all of those things so you can find links to those below and they're available on the channel. Um, and then yeah there was a lot of dress sewing, lots of sundresses made this year. I was um, lucky enough to go to Florida this year and um, I just knew I needed lots and lots of day dresses for that so I spent a lot of time making those and then I've got a few blouses that I've worn over and over again um, and some other day dresses that are more for sort of autumn winter and spring so yeah I'll um, I'll take you through my five favorites now but as I mentioned at the start of the video I'll pop links to all of the patterns um, should probably still should be still available I think and some of the fabrics will as well so I'll pop links to those and any relevant tutorials below for you but the first thing that I want to show you um, is not only my favorite for 2022 I really think this is my favorite thing I've ever Ever made I really do I've been sewing now for seven or eight years I think it is and I absolutely adore this dress um, so it is new look 6696 and it doesn't look like a particularly exciting dress from the front it's got this high neck very simple bodice um, fitted wet it's got a waist seam and it's nice and fitted around the waist and then it's got princess seams down the skirt it's got a slit at the um, front there which I really like just to elevate it and give it a bit more of a special occasion feel but the really um, exciting bit about this dress it comes down to about my ankle length I, I know 
know you can't quite see that on the video I've done my best to show you as much of it as I can um, but the really exciting bit about this dress that I love 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 is the cutout back which has been hugely popular this year super super on trend um, it was a lot of fun to sew it was supposed to be tied here um, but actually I just cut the piece on the fold and omitted the tie because it wasn't necessary it's easy to get over your head there's a zip fastening an invisible zip here on the skirt so it really wasn't necessary to have that tie and I think it gave it a much cleaner finish on the back um, it's fully lined and um, I just absolutely love this dress I love the fit of it the fabric is to die for it's a viscose um, ricardi high twist ricardi so it's a really nice weight viscose it's got lovely drape and movement and just these popping colors and that floral print are just right at my street so this is something I will treasure forever and ever. I absolutely love it. And I wore it to my very good friend Vicky's wedding. Um, and it was just the perfect dress for a wedding. I do think though you could take this pattern and you could make it with a shorter hem length and omit the slit um, and it would make a really nice dress for holiday or you could put a different skirt on it perhaps um, but just the bodice is a lot of fun to sew and a lot of fun to wear and very on trend so that is my first of my favourite makes for 2022 and my favourite make ever. The next garment I want to share with you is my New Look 6581 jersey wrap dress. I absolutely love this pattern, such a great pattern to have in your collection. As I mentioned at the start of the video, I'll link all of the patterns that are still available and the fabrics below for you, so do open the description, check out those links below, check out our website. Um, but yeah, I just absolutely love this pattern. I've made it twice. I made a short sleeve version last year, I think, and I just loved the fit of it. So much I fine tuned the fit a little bit with this um, I think I might have made it slightly smaller on the top perhaps um, but generally it's quite a good fit jersey patterns are you know forgiving in that respect anyway but it's finished with a nice wide facing around the neckline and I just find that sits really nicely it doesn't gape it's comfortable um, as I said at the start of the video you know the whole day dress thing getting that right and not feeling too overdressed this pattern's perfect for that um, and the version I want to to show you today that is one of my favorite makes from this year is this um, one in our lovely dashwood cotton jersey fabric so I made a long sleeve version and I made it a lot shorter than the pattern suggests the pattern I think is probably more like knee length and that's the version I made previously um, but I made this one a lot shorter because I knew I would want to wear it with thick black tights in the winter and my ankle boots which I do um, but then also in the spring and the autumn I wore it with bare legs little pumps and my denim jacket you can just see here that the denim jacket goes really nicely with it um, especially with bare legs and um, white pumps in the summer or the spring um, those cooler summer days but then also the other thing I've done with it as well um, in winter is I've laid it up with this pink cardigan um, because it's got these beautiful popping colours on the fabric that's what I love about it so much but I've got like this nice chunky cardigan that picks out some of the pink um, you've got these lovely pinks and corals and teals so you could pick any of those colours um, and just wear a nice chunky knit with it and um, some thick black tights and it's great for autumn winter as well um, so as I mentioned the pattern and the fabric I'll link below for you the next garment I want to share with you is a relatively recent make and it's this Simplicity blouse which is 9469. Um, it's just got this cute little keyhole detail at the front which is fastened with a little Rolu tie um, and it's got these lovely sort of bishop sleeves. They're nice and poofy which I really like. A very simple bodice, there's no bust starts or anything like that. It was really, really easy to sew and it is um, sewn up in our dashwood cotton lawn and I really do think these dashwood fabrics are beautiful this cotton lawn is so silky soft it's very much reminds me of a Liberty Tana lawn that sort of quality and that sort of silky feel 
um, and touch to it. And then it's got these really pretty, pretty ditzy prints. I just love all the colours again in this. As you can tell, I'm very much a lover of bright colours. They really elevate my mood when I wear them. So my wardrobe is packed full of colourful things. Um, and yeah, I've been wearing this loads recently. I can layer this one up again with a cardigan, although the sleeves are quite big um, because it's a lawn, it's, it's lightweight and it'll fit under a cardigan. So I can layer it up with a chunky knit like this. Um, but then also the other look I really like is to just put a leather jacket over it. I think they're really pretty ditzy feminine floral print with the jeans and the leather jacket is a really nice look as well. So yeah, I absolutely love this blouse. I've worn it loads since I made it. I only finished it a few weeks ago. Um, I do need to just lengthen the sleeve slightly. I think I probably need to just um, add a little bit of extra length to the bottom there um, and use that for the casing for the elastic because I lengthened the sleeves myself and I didn't quite make them long enough so that's something for me to work on for next time um, but yeah the pattern and the fabric are still available on our site and just to give you a little insight it is quite a long sort of tunic length top as well if you prefer untucked um, and longer lengths then that's an option for you but I prefer it tucked in but kept it nice and long so that um, it doesn't keep popping out which happens to me sometimes in the past when I've made blouses um, but if you want to see the full reviews of any of these makes as well with more details about the construction and the sizing um, they've all been reviewed on the vlog as well so you can watch the full reviews on here too. The next garment I want to show you, well I had to include a sundress in here somewhere, I made so many of them this year, I think it was five or six sundresses I made, so one of them had to make it to this final cut and it was this one which is McCall's 8211 which was a super super simple sew, um, I thought the fit was a bit, a bit strange on it, um, it came up a little bit big round the waist but it was really easy to size down um, and if you want the full details do rock, watch the review video um, it's on the channel and I'll try and remember to link the review videos below um, but I just absolutely love this dress it was a really quick simple so great last minute holiday make and it's in a John Caldor Lizano fabric which is like a cotton lawn type fabric very silky soft a lovely weight nice and opaque and just look at these gorgeous gorgeous colors um, I think it would make a gorgeous blouse or shirt for this time of year as well just to add some nice pops of colour to your winter wardrobe, bring some nice bright vibrant colours into these grey autumn winter days. Um, but yeah I absolutely love this dress, it was really easy to fit, it's got um, it's gathered at the top, it's got a little, um, you create a little tunnel and then thread a Rolu strap or a little thin spaghetti strap through it which then ties at the um, neck to create a halter neck. It's got this fitted cummerbund um, which cinches you in at the waist and then I made it with a gathered skirt which was really simple and easy to make and I just I loved wearing this on holiday it's just so comfortable so easy to throw on really easy to wear and highly highly recommend if you've got a last minute panic um, for a holiday dress this one I would definitely definitely recommend and I'll definitely definitely make it again so I'll just give you one last little look at the super pretty John Caldor fabric and as I said I'll link everything below that's still available on our site. And the final thing I wanted to include was my Vogue 9319 shorts. I just absolutely loved this pattern. It fits straight out of the packet. It was really simple to sew. Um, there's trousers as well as the shorts and I definitely think I'd make the trousers. Wide leg trousers are so on trend um, back in fashion. They have been for the last couple of years and um, I think the trousers look really, really lovely. Um, and it, they would, it was just a great project. It was was just really easy. Um, I've worn them loads, wore them loads on holiday. They were really useful to have in my suitcase, comfortable, um, you know, just everything you want from a pattern really. So I'll link the pattern below and I think we might still have a little bit of the fabric left as well. So it's a khaki 
animal print, um, black animal print on a khaki background, linen viscose mixed fabric, and it's just lovely and lightweight and drapey, perfect for these shorts. I love the wide leg on them, you know, I, I don't feel um, self-conscious at all in them. I felt really comfortable in them. Sometimes in shorts I feel a little bit self-conscious um, but not at all in these. I just thought the fit was so lovely and flattering and just the way that they're nice and loose around the thighs was great and I just wore them with this ready-to-wear um, black cami top. Um, I did add a little bit of piping round the seams on the waistband just to add a little bit of interest and I did a nice tutorial on that for you as well and if I did make them again I would omit the centre front seam I don't know why the pattern has that actually um, you could just cut this piece on the fold and you wouldn't need that um, and then they're fastened with an invisible zip at the back but yeah I absolutely love these shorts I think I'd definitely make the trousers and you know finding a trouser and short pattern that fits straight out of the packet well that is gold dust isn't it that's wonderful if you can find that so um yeah that's why i included this one and i just love this fabric as well um, i think it would make lots of other really lovely things blouses and tops and things as well but i hope you've enjoyed my little roundup anyway it's certainly a fun and interesting activity for me to do so i hope you've enjoyed having that little peek inside my wardrobe and hearing my thoughts about what i've been making and i'd really encourage you to do the same you know it's a great way to feel a big sense of achievement to look at what you've learned look how your sewing's perhaps progressed i don't think i've learned loads this year i did the tailored jacket and there was a lot of learning involved in that um, but for me at the moment, the place I am in my life with my children and the business, um, really it's just about kind of having fun and making things that I enjoy wearing. And I think I've definitely ticked that box this year. I'd love to have the time to do more challenging sewing, but that's just not a reality for me right now. And that's okay, you know, but definitely encourage you guys to have a little look back. And this can be really useful as well in January if you're sort of struggling to get going with your sewing after a Christmas break. Having a little roundup like this where you've looked back and thought about what you've made, what you've enjoyed, what you'd like to make more of can really help kickstart that sojo in January as well. And just pop it in the comments, you know, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear what you've been making, which one of my garments was your favourite, um, what's the favourite thing that you've made this year, what do you want to make next year? You know, I love hearing all of that from you and, uh, you know, all of the contributions that you make. Um, so as I said at the start of the video, all the patterns and fabrics that are still available are linked below. I've linked tutorials and full pattern reviews below for you as well. So do check those out. Do jump onto our website and have a little browse and have a mooch. That really supports us to keep going with the content for you. Um, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>